I loves me a good desktop mode. Dex is great, but I don't think Samsung is ready for what Motorola can deliver. What? Every reviewer's making like the exact same joke? Damn it! Previously on Some Gadget Guy. Dex is a pretty big deal. This is a huge crown jewel feature for Samsung phones, premium Samsung phones, and that's still totally legit. Phones are crazy powerful, and there's so much more compute work we could be doing with them. Now, when I was unboxing the new Motorola Edge Plus for 2022, I nerded out hard on Ready 4, Motorola's flavor of a desktop mode. Wonderfully evolved over the first generation of this software, Moto delivers a polished desktop experience, which polishes some of the rough edges that Samsung has been neglecting on DeX. I recently had this to offer during the Esper podcast with David Ruddock and Michelle Rahman. I mean, we're talking about desktop modes in a very sort of traditional computing kind of way, but just the idea of utilizing a second display on your phone has so many incredible and specific practical advantages that we've never really had a chance to explore. A gaming phone that plugs into a TV and offers you a console-like organization for your games. Or a Sony crazy camera phone, you plug it into a monitor and then all of the raw files that you have get pulled up in a Lightroom-like environment and you can really go to work directly from that kind of a setup. We've missed out on those feature specific kinds of applications because we've all been too nervous to try like the general compute, the general desktop mode. I think that's a really great perspective on Carlos because those two examples in particular are ones that, like you said, don't rely on that traditional desktop computing paradigm to be realized. That episode linked below, it's a fun conversation. We get we get real deep into the weeds. Now, little did I know, that's exactly what Ready For delivers now. This initial menu is a refreshing add-on. It's a focused way to deliver specific experiences or a user can switch to a traditional PC UI. It's my biggest gripe with skinny Android phones. If you just screen share, it's the wrong aspect ratio for most TVs and monitors and projectors. LG had an option to reformat the phone screen to 16 by nine. Ready 4 can game or tackle video calls full screen, no letterboxing. That conveyance matters. We can streamline a single use case or we can multitask and replace a proper PC. And switching modes is pretty smooth. Android gaming doesn't carry the best reputation, but with more console and PC ports arriving and some renewed focus from Qualcomm and Nvidia for gaming hardware, it's a feature that makes sense for this phone. Now, full screen modes are a tiny but useful bit of polish above what DeX has to offer. Getting into the desktop mode itself, we've got a feature complete layout with all the bells and whistles. Multiple windows, we can minimize to this tray. Snapping windows, we've got a bottom dock with active controls. The app drawer still looks like a tablet app drawer, but I like the vertical scroll better than Samsung's horizontal scroll. And performance is terrific. Like DeX and unlike the Android desktop mode, we have full use of both the phone and the computer with both performing well. The phone UI doesn't tank when we're powering the second screen, which was a problem we could see on the sort of bare bones desktop mode included on Android. This is smooth and it's quick, and it handily competes with mid-spec Chromebooks, especially as Chrome adds more support for Android apps. Another small but significant polish, Ready 4 more directly supports higher resolution displays. DeX is still stuck in this lame compatibility holding pattern. You know, make sure you use official DeX accessories, except Samsung isn't really making or selling any new DeX accessories. There are apps that improve that DeX situation, but why should we need to use those? Like a real PC, I can just tell Ready 4 to use a higher resolution. I don't I don't have to use a special Moto dock or another app. I can just connect it to my 4K graphics display right here and it knows that that's what the resolution is. 
and we're good to go. Also, similar to DeX, we've got good options for using Ready 4 on another PC or connected wirelessly to a TV. That is not a primary use case for me, but it's handy when you need to use your information and your apps on any kind of available computer hardware. It made me really happy that my laptop's slightly squarer 1440p resolution was just directly recognized and supported. And having a mini phone view in the desktop mode is just a nice touch. It's not a chore to pick up your phone and use it while it's connected with Ready4, but you can also accomplish a quick task on your phone without taking your hands off your keyboard and your mouse. It's super refreshing to use something this well done. You know, we were getting much better solutions from LG in the last years of Screen Plus, but of course LG left the market and their desktop mode was about a generation behind DeX. This Moto software is easily able to go toe to toe with DeX. I mean, I've only found two small areas where it might fall behind. Apps that support multiple panels or multiple instances currently work better on DeX, like Microsoft Office. On DeX, you can open multiple Word documents Ready4, at the time this video was shot, currently doesn't support that kind of multiple document opening. And number two, I don't love the Samsung browser on the phone, but it behaves more like a desktop browser than mobile Chrome does. I guess Firefox is okay, but all of these desktop modes really need some kind of proper desktop grade browser. All right, but closing this video out, Ready4 is shockingly and satisfyingly complete. There's been more focus on improving Android for tablet-y kinds of interactions, Android 12L, Android 13, and the idea of traditional desktop UI has kind of taken a back seat in that conversation. In one year, Motorola hasn't only caught Samsung, it's pulling ahead of DAX in a number of small lifestyle and conveyance areas. We haven't seen anything near this level of direct competition for DAX since Huawei's EMUI desktop mode. So if you're a fan of DAX, this is precisely the kind of move from Motorola you should be celebrating. Because DAX won't get better if there's no competition encouraging Samsung to improve it. And we should be excited to see companies leapfrog each other for improved features and deliver more value to consumers. A desktop mode is a unique productivity and entertainment solution, but it could deliver significant value to a wide swath of consumers until Samsung decides to throw some more attention at DeX, give it a little bit more polish, I think Moto has the top solution in town. Power users shopping at an S22 Plus tier have a really interesting option to consider. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. All the support has been greatly appreciated. The smashing bell icons and checking out the links in the description below, greatly appreciate that. You might also consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. This list of people, this is a collection of the coolest tech pals in the universe. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.